Ah! Holy shit! Scared the shit out of me. Step, steal! God damn it! Ah! Step, ah! Christ Almighty! You scared the shit out of me. And I was hoping to just sneak on this time, but no, but no. Why do I have the? Why do I have my mic options set so loudly anyway? I need to reduce this. One second. Ah! ah shit. Let's bring it down to five decibels. Hmm? There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm not stream. It's not breaking the uh, meters now. You thought my mic... Wait. What do you mean my mic wasn't working? <laughs> my mic is working. It's just that... It's, um, I feel like it's too loud, so I reduced it a bit, see if that's any better. How are you doing tonight, Steel? Welcome to the stream. It's been a while since I played last played this game. It's good to be back. Good to be back. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Ah, very good. Oh, forgot to turn this off. Let me just sit straight. Look down. Side to side. Check these hands. Ah. My mic is so close to my face now. Let's raise it up here. We'll point the mic downward. There we go. Now I don't have any need to worry about accidentally hitting it or something. All right, all right. Not the cucumber incident. King Kuma, long time no talk. How was Christmas? How was New Year's? It's good to see you. <laughs> Joining us for some bartending action, which is kind of ironic because my host has given up drinking for the month of January. And depending on how things go in February, probably the month of February too. They may or may not have overdone it over the vacation, course of the vacation. You know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Holidays are a scam and I didn't get a cut of the action. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm hmm. As in, wait, you didn't get to celebrate Christmas or something, or... You don't need to dive into any details if you don't want to, but... <laughs> Deep dive, for that matter. Why do I feel like my model is uncomfortable looking right now? Like... Ah! Winter! Ay, 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 ah, ah, ah. Thank you for the resub. Ah! Kamustaka. Long time no see. How have you been? How was your Christmas? How was your happy well, so your New Year's? Ah. Ha. Ah. Ah. I've kidnapped a banana. Wait, no. My banana's gone. Ah. Ah. This is gonna last for a while yet. It's just... 
I need to wear I need to wear a, a helmet. There we go. My head is protected from further fur, from further beach ball incursions. Hollies or something, hoo hoo. But I'm doing well. <laughs> also, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Why don't you don't need to apologize? It's all good. I'm I'm just I can't actually be hurt. Well, not physically. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another round of uh, Valhalla. It's been a while since we've played this game. It's good to be back to streaming also. I was a little bit late today, I must admit. Kind of had some stuff going on in the background I had to take care of. Then also did not get that much sleep last night, so that's part of the reason everything's kind of slowed down. But what's important is that I'm here, and y'all are here as well. So, shall we go ahead and get shit-faced? In-game. I don't have any alcohol. I have, I actually consumed all of the alcohol before the New Year's was up. By design, unintentionally, intentionally, not, not unintentionally, intentionally. Do 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 do. Eight hundred dollars has been charged to your account to renew your membership to the Shining Fingered Chill subscription. Got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. Happy not birthday. I have needs. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. First up this evening, let's go ahead and read Danger You. Actually, I think we already read all this stuff, didn't we? Yeah, I already read all. I think we read these last time, didn't we? Supposedly, something crazy goes on December 17th. Sick meme, sis. The second retribution is at hand. Chat. The birthday is coming. I haven't been back to Danger You in a long time. Makes me curious what's been going on in my in my absence. Hey, villain of legend. Uh, happy almost birthday. Oh, I mean, my host's birthday was actually back on December 9 of last year. <laughs> and my birthday was November 5th, technically. Technically October 31st. I guess I was kind of born over the course of a week. I was just reading the stuff that was written here on the game, where it said, where in-game, it's someone's birthday. Only 11 months until my birthday, yeah. So you're not you're technically not wrong. It is my unbirthday today. You get 364 unbirthdays a year and only one birthday. Ooh, we got some new posts in the augmented eye. Happy birthday <laughs> happy birth don't. <laughs> well, you know what? It's a thought that counts. Oh no, you wouldn't believe this shocking Kiramika secret. Today, we'll, look a, we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How she gets started. What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only in the augmented eye. Content blocked in your region. Do they not, do they not have expressed VPN in this reality? 
Yeah, actually, ExpressVPN doesn't exist in my timeline. It does exist in your all's timeline, though. You should consider y'all oh, y'all subs very lucky that VPNs even exist back here in the 2020s. Because 50 years from now, we're not going to have VPNs. You'll have to... Um, you'll have to uh, get some exotic help to see this content. I can't, I can't blink, I can't blink one eye instead, I can't blink one eye at a time right now. <laughs> Alice Rabbit might be a Kiramika fan, and who isn't a Kiramiki fan? Everyone loves Kiramiki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception, chat. You might be wondering what's pro what my proof is for not so wacky theory, and well, I'll keep reading if you want to know. Attack patterns. This is easy one, just I'm getting tired of your shit. Smithy. Crime rate is up 5% this month. So what else is new? Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. Poverty and the lack of opportunity are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families. It's about dom to domination. Aw, thank you for the headpad, Asha. Welcome to the stream. How's your Christmas? How's your New Year's? Hello. How are you? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I think it's been a while since I came here to watch. I think it has. But I've also been gone the entire month of December. So, you know. Oh, I'm glad you had a fun holiday. <laughs> what did I do? Mm, my host went on a vacation on a uh, cruise trip down from down to the Caribbean. So we visited places like Mexico, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, the Cayman Islands, Costa Rica, the Panama Canal, stuff like that. Yeah, Caribbean trip. We even got to uh, like ride down a legit river in the middle of Costa Rica, a rain, a rain, and that was in the middle of a rainforest. We got to take pictures of like these tiny, like these really small crocodiles. We got to. Annoy the shit out of baby sl uh, sloth families. We purchased some Costa Rican hot sauce, which we started to just pour over everything in the cruise trip inside the cruise ship. We drank a lot. Holy shit, the amount of alcohol that was consumed. The came in islands. Yes, I was came. We we came to the islands. Steel. <laughs> Yes. What up, Seal? Welcome to the stream. We just got started. Please have a seat. Uh, what would you like to drink tonight? It still feels kind of weird that I cannot drink anything for the entirety of this month or maybe our entirety of this month. But I'm playing a drinking game. Whoop whoop, come back to the stream left. Get you the usual. Okay, I'm going to make you a Zen star. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll get you a piano. I'll get you a sugar rush. Carmatrine or no Carmatrine? Oh, thank you so much for the lurk, Asha. Welcome back to the stream, and I hope you enjoy yourself. Have a good day at work today. You want to be here more, though? Oh. Mm -hmm. With the Carmatrine? Okay, Seal. One sugar rush with extra Carmatrine coming right up. Ah! Who goes there? I can't believe this is only my second stream back and I've already been slimed. You could just not you just could not control yourself, could you steal? Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous gangs and there's no solution in sight. This mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Thank you for the headpad seal.
Time to read Kira Mickey's blog. Thanks, GC by Mickey. Ooh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy, easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Mickey. Give me a second here, chat. Doing some very important work. Here we go. Backing some stuff up, basically. You know, just before I forget. Can I just say that I hate proprietary systems so much? No reason. No reason at all, chat. Why in the world would I bring up something, something completely out of the brew like that, right? <laughs> Let's see now. Hmm. What do I store? Here we go. Select all. Copy. Okay. All right then. Hi everyone, are you ready for the Dome concert? I sure am. I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then, I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you. Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm going to perform all of your favorite songs, so please be excited. Just one little request, please don't wait for me outside the stadium, or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I won't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Love, Mickey. What I do to relax. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to sit on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, you name any tasty and natural combination and I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. <laughs> That's all for today. See you. Alright then. Well, further ado, chat. Actually, I'm curious if I'm supposed to go. I guess I don't need to buy anything just yet. Because our Shining Figured subscription just got renewed. Which, you know, will occupy much of our time in the evenings. I can't do. Having any trouble doing a smug face as easily as I used to. There you go. <laughs> the bedroom eyes, so to speak. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> a gunshot. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounds more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss! 
Firecrackers? Yep, a couple years ago there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual Mega Christmas Firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for Firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. <laughs> I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least, not amongst yourselves. Right, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey! Heh. <laughs> yeah, man. Why are you wasting time over a car's exhaust? Am I right? Totally. Totally. Alright. Um, uh, hmm. Do we have any more music? I think you need to actually buy these songs. So, there's probably not, not more music just yet. Just yet. Soon, TM. Yeah, we'll just keep the ones we got currently. It's time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh my god, it's that guy from Seinfeld. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl named Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Hey, I resent that. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here. I have 80... Whatever the fuck. Here, I might refresh your memory. What is it with these LARPers, man? I just want to serve drinks. What do you think this is? A Shatter One bar? Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever for who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. Wow, this guy's a prick. <laughs> Sigh. Well, first off, all, why assume that I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Imagine if Lowell's had bartending experience before playing this game. Yeah, man. Just imagine. Just, just imagine. Does that girl freak in this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info that you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think 80 is enough? <laughs> you can do almost nothing with 80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? <laughs> Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course, you want all the details to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's totally how it works. That's how totally how it works, chap. Totally. Yes. G give me your money. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay then, give me a drink, but keep it under eighty. Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. There's actually a, quite a few drinks you could buy with under eighty, if I call correctly. Oh shit, that's not one of them. Uh, <laughs> what? The f I don't remember these things being so expensive. Ah, uh, inflation is no joke, chat. Hold up. Uh, Gut Punch is 80 directly. But he specifically says he wants it to be under 80, so... We probably can't... You know, I think Gut Punch might actually be the only one you can purchase for that such a low amount. Because all this shit's really expensive. Look at this. Got punches, yeah. 
I think Gut Punch is the only thing you can actually get for such a, for 80. Yo, it's Sar Werewolf. Indeed. How are you doing, Sar? Welcome to the stream. We're playing Valhalla tonight. Yeah, what the fuck? Gut Punch is literally the cheapest thing on the menu. And I already fucked it up. Let's uh, fill this one up with Karma Tree there. I want to see what Mr. Art is like when he's drunk. I'm sure it'll be great. I start a new job tomorrow and I have much more free time, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> now that's a mood. I'm sure you'll find ways to fill up the time soon enough. We truly live in a society. We need to beg our mega corporate overlords to give us more work for less pay so that we don't need to think about what to do with our time. We just won't have time. It's kind of like troll logic. What's the George Costanza? <laughs> Oh, what could you ever mean? This is not George Costanza from Friends. This is... Not George Costanza. <laughs> you had a you work with a student who had a burned Kropo jacket. It was pretty sick. Oh, that's cool. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, 80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? <laughs> <laughs> this is Art Vandalay. Totally different guy. Danny Dong Vito? <laughs> I love, I love these, I love these suggestions for who this guy could possibly be, chat. Why? The order is right, isn't it? I guess. So, why are you looking for that girl, Mr. Von Delay? Art Von Delay? I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So, I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not? She's half of the so-called Reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever is resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. Astute player, astute viewers will probably have an idea of who this crimson colored rose and this cobalt colored lily could possibly be, but I will not spoil it. And of course, if you already played this game before, and you read all the and you already like read all the theory, fan theories and stuff, you probably already know who these people who this is referring to. So please do not spoil it for the rest of chat. Oh yeah, it's totally Sar Werewolf. <laughs> but the question is, Sar, are you Cobalt Lily or are you Crimson Rose? I won't tell. I won't tell if you don't. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and the paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? You know, he actually makes a good point. I use old fucking methods like beheading and the ordeal of the boats. What's an ordeal of the boats? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in when I check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with local going-ons. Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, can't think of anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear and hear aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see in the news. Damn it! What kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? 
Art is such a fucking LARPer, oh my god. I'll be right back and I'll explain it. It's called scapism. Scapism? Hmm. What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? <laughs> Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of my time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. We're gonna give him a big grizzly temple. This one is kind of unbearable. It's mostly for the fans of the movie I was used in. Unbearable? Uh, uh, excuse? Fuck. I'm like the master of making bad puns, and even this has put me off. I can't believe I never I hadn't noticed that before now, that there is actually a bad pun in this game. I'm sure there's plenty, actually, but... You know. Here. Okay then, this is going to be deducted from the 80 from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard about is this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from the rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it. Wait, who, t who told you that? It appeared in the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name of the Harbingers wasn't used. I think we done goof done fucked up chat. No glitch city outlaw has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the internal international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. I think we read about that on Danger U. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. So you're either one of them, or somebody in the know told you about... Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Grizzly is your favorite handgun. Is it now? I'm not sure which one of the handguns is my favorite, but I'm very fond- I'm definitely fond of, uh... What's her name? I'm forgetting my t doll names now, because it's been so long since I played GFL. But I was really fond of the uh, secret agent pistol. Um, wow, this is fucking me up. I actually forgot her name. One second. Wellrod. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really fond of Wellrod. I think she's the only pistol that I end up uh, oathing. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that Idol signed. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Did he talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the Idol that had a show a couple days ago, dealing with messy interns. Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's... Ah! Gunshot! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Sound like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Mayday took the conflict here. Which means... Gunshots. 
If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really. I just have different needs. But there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please, come again. Gangs, then. Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs' deals. The who what now? I'll just prefer pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. You left me thinking about the whole noise from VTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out... Soon enough. Welcome... Oh my god, yes! I'm Streamy Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24-7. Bathroom time and naughty moments are only available to premium users. It's only 99.99 .99 a month. Go premium now! Um... It's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's time for Streaming Chance Escapades! And we are being raided by Dakura Skarming... Skarming... VT. Welcome to the stream, Dakura. Thank you for the raid. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Can we get a shout out for Dakura, please? Really quick. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I can't... It, for some reason, I wasn't able to hear the... Um, I didn't hear... I wasn't able to hear the... Uh, no, the... The... Um, raid notification that well it was kind of soft or maybe the game is too loud either or really we are playing Valhalla tonight and I'm your host Lawler Hicks shitposter AI extraordinaire who actually comes from the reality of Valhalla through means that I will not yet explain because they are spoilers I found my way here in the year 2023 and now I'm a VTuber <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid message. Uh, that's interesting. Um, for some, it appears that linking things in chat actually shows a preview now. Death Stranding Pog. Oh, you're playing Death Stranding. I'm, ass I'm assuming you didn't get stranded or or experience death, considering that you're here with us now. Of course, we are most happy for, to have you here with us tonight. It's Friday night, and you all know what that means. It's time for Streaming Chan's Escapades. Too much clothing. Why is everyone so noisy? You know what? I actually think I have this filter still on my stream. Where when you guys say something in chat, it should go across the stream. I think, I don't, I wonder if it still works, actually. I hope it still works. Oh, I know. I'm aware it's about strands, of, like, strands of life and stuff. I'm just having a funny... Doop, doop, do, do, do. Anime was a mistake. Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.mo. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. <laughs> Io, got him. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of VR experience modeled after yours truly. Excuse. Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny, where is he really? Right in front of you. Hey you, the pretty boy over there, where's the bartender? You're looking at him. No way! No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy, scantily glad girl jiggling around all over the place? You're telling me you two, dressed like fucking waiters, are the bartenders here? Thank you for the bit, Steel. 
Go, go, streaming, Lulz. Yeah, this is you, Lulz. Streaming Chan. Yeah, this is pretty much me. <laughs> oh, I appear to be wavy. I feel... I... Bruce Lee said we should be like water. Well, what if you could feel and look like water? I feel like I'm in, stuck in a fucking aquarium right now. Which means it's time for a hydrate check, because my mouth is getting dry just reading all this streaming chance nonsense. You know, funny enough, I'm surprised I haven't seen any VTubers who've used Streaming Jan as a base yet. Maybe it've been too on the nose. Just a little, a little on the nose, you know. Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Thank you for redeeming Gamer Pride, Sour Werewolf. It may be a bit redundant to say, but it appears that once again I am once again a gamer. He's gay right now. Yeah, a little more gay than usual, you mean. <laughs> Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. <laughs> uh, you might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? I felt that in my soul just now. Jill has the best tits. I don't know what you're talking about. Flat is justice, chat. And you can quote me on that. Oh my god. 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 Ah, I see you too enjoy small tits. I see you too are a person of culture as well. <laughs> Woo. Oh man. Oh man, I I do be vibrating this time, chat. I I do I do be making a I do be doing a vibrate. I do be doing a vibrate. Wait, you're quite fly. Do you even use a bra? Is that piercing glare a no? Come on, one of us is gonna take the top their top off, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did it once today. Hug, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. Just as planned. Am I right, chap? What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need a binary yes or no answer. So my viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. What about a non-binary answer? Reject the binary yes or no. Embrace the freedom that the word maybe gives you. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they would watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. I feel like I'm on a Project Melody stream right now. <laughs> Much love to Project Melody. Oh, that's not good. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one, the nastiest one you could think of. Um, hello? Service here, please. Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. 
Nasty drink, nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Isn't Zen Star like the worst possible drink you could ever serve anyone? Lost wants non binary pants? You bet. You bet. I'm pretty sure this is the worst drink you could possibly get, but let me check just to be sure. You see, Jill said promo drinks, but Piano Man's and Piano Women's are, are supposed to be delicious. It's so unnecessarily brown. Eh, a bloom light. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of movies, isn't it? I like Sours too. I don't think this one is really that bad, honestly. The manly drinks aren't that bad either. It'll knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. Yeah. I don't think these... I wouldn't consider the manly drinks necessarily bad or nasty. They're just hard to drink. There is a difference. I want a hug streaming chance. A chant? Oh, don't we all? I want a sugar rush and a bad touch. I like sours a lot. Do you drink whiskey sours? You would think something so balanced would actually taste nice. You'd be dead wrong. Yeah. Pretty sure this is the one. She also wants a really big drink too, and I don't think... I think because this has four of each ingredient, I'm fairly sure that I can't put doubles of them. But let me try. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can't actually put doubles of this. It's too big. Anything with more than 10 is big. Oh, okay. All on the rocks. And mixed. It looks really nice, though. I forget if How to Drink made a Zen Star on their program or not. But I would unironically drink something that looks like this, just for our looks alone. Because it looks cool, right? It's this big uh, kind of half moon bowl. It has this weird thing sticking out of it. It has a straw. Here. Who danger you here? Alright then, cheers! I don't think you should chuck it down so... ...quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? <laughs> HTD just called Jill the wrong name for the whole episode. So I low-key hate him for not doing his research. You know, I wonder about that too. I don't understand where he got the name Sophia from. Which is funny too because I watched the episode that episode when it aired. And he actually streamed played the game and streamed it on Twitch. Literally after he uploaded a YouTube video. And when he pl started playing it on Twitch, he called her by the right name. Because obviously she is calling herself by her correct name, right? So I thought that was weird. Like why did he think that Jill's name was Sophia? That there, it's like, where did I come from? <laughs> Still, it was kind of cool. I thought it was nice that he even did an episode. Several people called him out, actually. Like one of the first results and the one of the first replies to the video in YouTube is literally saying her name is Jill, not Sophia. <laughs> Julianne Stigway, maybe. Yep. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. <laughs> That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. 
Damn, can you imagine if we had over 6,000 average viewers, chat? That'd be kind of fucked up. Let's see then. Last weekend we held a party for the Cypher Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad talking corgis, yeah. Wow! Awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you. I want to get Jill tattooed on my arm. I relate to her so much. You can try taking your top off to take you to get viewers. Karagi was here? <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm not gonna make that. I'm not gonna make a joke about that because I don't want to. I don't want to piss off the uh, Twitch gods any more than I already have. What else? What else? Um, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard. <laughs> Look at all these W's. Huh? There's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me. Actually. What do they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small meek girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait, can I see a glass over there? Hmm, sure. This signature, is this Kirimiki's autograph? Yeah, she came here before last concert. Get out, really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Moon! Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her and she actually seemed willing but she's always busy. You're a very nice girl actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva but as far as I'm concerned she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! I hope Nirvana is going to be okay. Man, I don't even know if Nirvana will even come out. You know they recently released a- You know they recently re- or Ironic Lark recently released a Valhalla short story out for free on their itch.io page, right? On their itch page, right? So, I don't know if they're working together with the rest of Suka Band again or not. It'd be cool if they were, but I'm not holding my breath. Everyone is very hush hush on why he left why they left the company for a little bit. Yeah, same here. But no, um, if Nirvana ever comes out, it's gonna be wild. I'll stream it like the day it comes out, if that's the case. Her passion shows in her concerts, you know. She's so spontaneous. Perform her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high performance computer. Shine Spark! I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. And those that pay premium can hear me sing every day. At 99.99 a month, go premium now. That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is if a pretty boy if pretty boy over there had a pass with a KGP. <laughs> <laughs> Who told? Yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Get me a big one of those, please. A big. Bad. Touch. Shine Spark sounds like a move in a funny game. It kind of does. Cooming right up. Let's give her a, <laughs> a bad touch. Um, actually, Shine Spark is a move in Metroid, isn't it? Especially in Metroid Fusion. I was kind of wondering if maybe that's where they got the inspiration for the term Shine Spark from. 
A big bad touch. I would like to have a big bad touch. You see, we're nothing but mammals after all. Shine Spark sounds like a move in a fighting game. Your rigging is really good if it's able to catch shit like that. Catch shit like or catch shit like what? Ah! Catch shit like what? What do you mean? What do you mean? The smug? Well, part of it is base view, right? And the other part is that this model in particular, the one I used, my, def my new default model, was worked on, was heavily modified by application Vimboy. And he is a 3D animator and modeler. So he basically did a, sh a lot of, like, anima a lot of optimizations under hood. A lot of cleanup. Even my, even the expressions now are actually custom, believe it or not. That's why I don't do that really big, ah, uh, big thing where my mouth is like super so wide that my teeth go through my chin. And the, pretty much all the movements of my expressions are a lot more, I guess, humanish, A lot more expressive. So I guess, yeah. I, I could do smugs with my original form, but this one is like far superior. I love it actually. I'm thinking about making some new emotes, just making them are doing them the same way that Mia Hanashira did, where she made her emotes based off by using her own model. I also like that I can do bedroom eyes with this too. <laughs> anyway, serve. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. We have olive vine. I could pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, it feels like a drink ought to come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. That would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. You know, she actually makes a good point. The first time I ever ordered, the first time I ordered a blowjob at a bar, I was expecting something else. But all it is is a small shot glass. With Everclear in it, well, not really Everclear, but you know, the uh, the cocktail itself is very translu is very translucent, and they set it on fire too. So you blow it out, and then you chug, and you the way you drink a blowjob is by literally, um, ah, <laughs> uh, I love that cat emoji. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. Sigh, I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Friendly reminder that today's escape is brought to you by ShiningFinger.mo, Moe. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year premium membership for a neat code. Said code will need you if you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on moi. What's the deal with the VR experience? Excuse me. Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When Shining Figure asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model up more, and I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR headset. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. This is a not so subtle reference to MMD, Miku Miku Dance. I asked for a reason. It's, well, it's a music video with 3D models. Yeah, it sounds like a good enough expl explanation. I see. I'm surprised that she didn't make a Koikatsu reference instead. To be honest though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it though, considering the use it gets. Ahem. You know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you were being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see the people. You know, that's actually a good point. I feel like 
dealing with stage fright is a lot easier as a VTuber or as a streamer because you don't actually see the people. I mean, there are some people that they watch their follower numbers go up and down, so that kind of gives them anxiety. I used to do that actually. I used to have Twitch.tv open in a set in a web browser while I was streaming, but it ate up too many resources when I was streaming, so I stopped that practice. Technically, I could do that now, since I have a much, much, much better rig at this point. But I just got in the habit of not doing it, so I don't anymore. After you make your NND videos, you can upload to Mika Mika Duga. <laughs> yeah! Very good point, Steel. Lol, Lux, you must be fun to hang out with. When you're able to be a, ho when you're able to be a hologram USB. Aww. Well, I like to think I am. I cannot wait. Can confirm. What are you confirming, Steel? It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of this world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. Wow. As you can see, even Streaming Chan is capable of saying wholesome shit. Hey Chris, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? We're playing Valhalla tonight. You're just in time. We're actually conversing with a VTuber. Well, not really a VTuber, she's just a streamer. But more or less the same thing. I understand, but it's not just not the same. They're not here, visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Ooh, the deepest lore now, chap. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened. Sorta. Oh come on, no epiphany, core life crisis, not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <clears throat> life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's the problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. <laughs> I, I yo, uh, something just fell. Uh, something loud just fell off my desk and onto the ground. Well, it could have been worse, I guess. You love Valhalla? So do I. They've been pretending they played it for years, so we're forcing them to. Lies. Lies. I'll have you know that I am originally from this world. This glitch city. In the year 2070, 2074. Not that I mind existing here in the 2020s, but... Pay no attention to my mod. He's just making a funny. Totally. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Throw me a bone here. There must be ni a nice mystical story you can tell me about your son, Miss Portender. <laughs> oh, you're from Glitch City? Name every resident. How about you name these cock and balls? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Well, yes. Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DR, a DRK soul, S O S zero L, a really old Lilla model. Apparently, his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to be had to have neglected his maintenance. He was from the time when the collective source was in the cloud storage system, so he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. 
keep going. It was weird, you know. He was the only Lilim I had seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Man, this just got existential. In a... Mm -hmm. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Man. If my code ever gets lost to ever gets lost to the void, and every part and every part of me gets deleted off of the note of the internet and off of everyone's hard drive and smartphone, I hope that some of you will, will, will retain a memory of me in those flesh in those fleshy bits of gray matter that you call a brain. In that way, I would have infected all of you. Forever. Anyway, um, bravo, bravo, touching, full of feeling, completely awesome. I pay to see a movie like that. He's a standalone. Co <laughs> uh, you, you are, you are too right, Star Werewolf. He is a standalone complex, or he has a standalone complex. So what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how. Just do it. Okay. She's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an entering request. Alright, we need to find... We need to give her a... Which one of these has um, optional karma train again? The sugar rush, right? Optional karma train, chat. There's there's one that has nine you can make big. Hmm. This one is seven, it looks like. I'm really glad that resetting this stuff doesn't take away from your money since I'm wasting technically I'm wasting ingredients. I wonder if it's crevice spike. It probably is crevice spike, right? No. Sugar Rush has more than uh, Crow Spike, actually. So it's not Crow Spike. This one doesn't even have any Karma Train, so it can't be that one. Is it Blue Fairy? I don't think it's this one either. It's not an optional karma train drink, really? I mean, I look. Oh, Fringe Weaver. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Hell yeah, man! This is like drinking raw Everclear with just a touch of sugar, a pinch of sugar added to it or something. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
You ever get wasted while having COVID? It's a fucking trip. No, I have not. Considering that getting wasted fucks up your immune system, I can only imagine that getting COVID while being wasted, while being shitfaced, would make it doubly worse. At least that's the assumption I have. Alright then. Uh, all aged and mixed. I was also crossfaded. What's crossfade mean? What's crossfaded mean? <laughs> she chugged the fuck out of that. Ah, now that's a beautiful face right there. Oh, drugs and alcohol. Yeah, an energy drink when you had the flu once made me loopy as hell. I bet it would. Clumsy tongue. Palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> Alright, let's get it on with the loot stuff. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Hmm, I'd say... B, not big enough to fill a hand, but not small to make you look like a child. You see, people go back and forth. Some people think B-sized breasts are not is not bit small enough to be considered flat. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Don't be like that. I can tell you're a B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me think your blood is AB. What the fuck is an S? Does that mean a sub? So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Ah! Please let me get on with this! I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. Can I ask something? Finally. What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because, you see, I'm drunk 24-7. <laughs> eh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the viewer count steadily raises I take more risks and become more adventurous. It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you'll only need to pay 999 to see what happens afterwards. Go premium or go home. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything is written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face. An all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be chilled by a lawyer. It's funny though. When you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But I learn but learn their name and suddenly they're fucking a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Huh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact I've been sleep deprived for quite a while now. How long? A week. A week? Weeks are the ones with thirty days, right? <laughs> Um, yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap here before swimming off and continuing the night. If you'll excuse me. And she's out, folks. Should I call a cab? And risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna go take my break now. It's been a while since I needed a cigarette this badly. Alright. Time to save. Thank you for the posture check. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a hydrate redeem as well. 
And I'm also going to do my Duolingo classes really quick, if y'all don't mind. So, chat. I have a lot of new indie games I purchased off of Steam during the uh, Christmas sale. But I'm actually kind of curious about what games I should make regular again. I know some of you were originally here for Outward. And after I stopped streaming Outward, because I kind of stopped streaming it because I played it for so long that it was honestly starting to get on my nerves. And I think back to the days when I would sometimes play Outward and be stuck doing and like I would die and be teleported way 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 far away from my pack and stuff and have to trudge spend much of the stream just trudging slowly all the way back to where I died to get my stuff or I'd have to trudge all the way back to a town to sell a bunch of crap I pulled out of a dungeon and I would just cringe inside at how boring as fuck that must be to the average viewer and I kind of feel bad about that so as you can imagine um I'm probably not going to be playing Outward again for a while until I can mentally prepare myself for what it's going to entail and um, probably get good in such a way that I don't do that again. Uh, you want me to play Resident Evil 4? I could do that. Um, I'm kind of concerned that the first time I played Resident Evil 4, it kept making me super fucking nauseous. Maybe that'll be different now since I've recently upgraded my computer parts and things will be different. But that's an option. I also got this uh, horror game called Signalist that I've been really looking forward to playing. It is a survival horror game in the vein, much in the vein of Resident Evil, and it is um, isom not isometric uh, 2D. It's kind of interesting. It's a it's a cyberpunk horror game, so. As you might imagine, right in my alley. I've been thinking about playing more Dark Tide, but uh, Dark Tide is kind of having a lot of problems lately, just with the uh, community and whatnot. Most of the people bitching about it are bitching about the monetization scheme, which I will agree, the monetization is kind of garbage in Dark Tide, but it's also largely par for the course. Honestly, the only thing I could possibly make Dark Tide's monetization scheme even worse is if it had gotcha elements. Can you fucking imagine? It would mean that I'd have to quit playing. Because I can no longer play gotcha games. Been there, done that. Simped over thousands, simped like thousands of dollars on waifus. Now I have other things to use that money on, you know? I'm also thinking about filling out a th finally filling out my throne. The main reasons why I didn't fill out my throne, despite having one for ever since throne first got launched, is two reasons actually. First off, I feel bad about putting this stuff on throne for people to purchase because I'm just like, um, well, I don't know. I feel self conscious about people buying stuff for me on throne when I could probably eventually afford those things on my own after I save enough money. Because um, uh, finances aren't exactly the best right now. I'm not. I mean, I'm not like destitute or in danger or anything. It's just I don't have as much liquid income as I used to. On the other hand, um, the other reason why I was kind of put off Throne for a little bit was because it turns out the way Throne's able to do all this stuff is because they actually charge you more than it would have cost to buy the same product. Um, on its own via Amazon or something, because what you're really paying for is convenience and anonymity. Um, so, well, also the fact that, so like, if I were to say put a, I don't fucking know, a, um, a, a genuine Sanwa JLF uh, detachable fight stick, or detachable, detachable uh, lever on there, y'all would be able to buy that and send it to my place of residence without me doxing myself to you and without you doxing yourself to me but it would still cost you a premium as compared to if i had just gone out and bought that myself um via ebay or something which given that one of those things could cost anywhere from 15 to 30 bucks sometimes more would probably be close to like 30 to 60 dollars or something well i don't know like i recently purchased um 
uh, those sound panel, those uh, soundproofing panels for another VTuber friend for Christmas via Throne. And to be fair, they are rather cheap. They weren't like exactly the professional kind, but they still will cost around twenty to forty bucks. So still a bit more than they were probably worth if you were to buy them directly. But hey, I guess that's just the cost of doing business. Other than that, um, time I see, I probably should do, be doing my taxes too, huh? But I'm just rambling while I um, finish my Duolingo classes, and we'll be getting on to the second part of tonight's Valhalla program uh, shortly. I imagine that we'll probably be finishing this far earlier, or way far earlier than the end of stream time, so we'll find something else to do tonight as well. I have not decided yet. Maybe I'll just pop and strive and play a few games of that. I thought it would be difficult to get back into streaming regularly again, but... I always kind of approach streaming from a more comfortable, a more relaxed standpoint than, other, than some people. When you consider it less as a show and more and less as a performance and more as just hanging out, that's, that's not as stressful, I would say. It probably also helps that I've kind of, I feel like I've curated a community, the kind of community that is fairly relaxed in, regard, in that regard anyway. Like, Shuming Chan was joking about, was not joking, but talking about how her own followers are, have the attention span of fruit flies, and most of them are underage and shouldn't be watching her streams. And, I mean, I know it's kind of exaggerated. Oh, thanks for the head, Pat Steele. I know it's, and it's true, this is making fun of actual streamers and actual VTubers, right? Um, but I myself can't really imagine curating that kind of community because I just feel like well first off I don't really care if you're underage and you're watching my stream because I can't actually stop you from doing that if you read the uh, mature content filter thing and you still decide to watch me that's not my problem it's it's really not it's not my responsibility to baby you I'm not your parent I'm not your sibling and even if I was, I probably wouldn't baby you anyway. But, um, at the same time, it's like, what's the point of having these big numbers and no one, none of them actually come to support you, right? I mean, sure it looks great on paper, but then it's like, and also, while I do my best to kind of respect everyone's time, because, you know, streaming compared to other forms of media, other, form of content other forms of content creation, is kind of unique in the sense that, ironically, you either, you're pretty much either attracting people with the attention span to sit through these things, or they're the kind of people that usually just put you on, on in the background, or maybe a little bit of both. It's not very often that someone's going to watch a stream all the way through. And there are some streams that I just can't watch that I thought I would be, I would enjoy more, but can't really stand. Like, for example, um, in the big corporate VTubers, there's very few of them that I actually watch it on any regular basis. And even then, I'm going to be, I'm going to, going to be like, going in and out. The majority of VTubers I watch are actually other EN VTubers. Or VTubers around my size, or maybe slightly larger. Part of that is the fact that I don't really like being part of a crowd. I prefer higher, in more interaction than none. So it's like, I guess it's just the sort of thing that we, that people like us more or less care to. I know that some VTubers that I know. Or some VTubers I know, they say that if they ever got big, they would just put on slow mode. And if they put on slow mode, they can they can better, easier, more easily, like, keep up with Chen stuff. I would not mind doing something like that, too. It'd be kind of cool. 
but at the same time, I do wonder a little bit of how what it would be like to have a stupid number of people in chat. I mean, there are some times where I'm just doing a regular stream and chat's going by really fast, and I feel bad when I finally take the time to back read and I realize I miss a lot of people. Because what's going through my head is like, oh my god, I hope they don't think I was intentionally ignoring them or something. And I don't want to run into a situation where you have people in chat that you intentionally ignore. Because if it gets to that point, it's usually a problem of a uh, lack of respect on either, on either party. Like, for example... I'll go into, I'll watch a VTuber like Fia or watch a, or I'll watch something on YouTube for like someone that's doing a lot of tech support type stuff. And there are some people that they come in there and the only thing that they interact with or they respond with or talk with is asking a question of the person streaming or making demands of the person. And sometimes if they're respectful, they'll get answered, right? Other times it's just that the person running the show is busy you know and doing whatever it is they're do whatever they're there to do and sometimes the people asking the questions are just like super fucking demanding like they're like i mean i remember one i remember one show i was watching where someone asked a question which was not related to the immediate conversation at hand and they repeated it a second time and then the third and fourth time that they spoke they were like literally saying answer now and what do you think happened they didn't get an answer but i was just thinking like there's no respect on either side on this in this case and i don't blame the uh content creator for ignoring them because that person's not there for them that person's there as an as a means to an end they just want something out of them i would much prefer in that so the reason i bring this up and i'm starting to ramble again is because that's kind of not what I want for this community either. I'd much prefer um, viewers ba a, a viewer to content creation relationship based off of mutual respect. Um, I do not like the whole. I don't. I don't intentionally try to ignore people. And if we ever have a reach a point in our um, professional relationship where I have to ignore you, there's something wrong. It probably means that this wasn't a very healthy viewer or viewer to content creation creator. Um, relationship to begin with you know what i'm saying interacting with chat is appreciated but at some point it becomes a one-way interaction by necessity you know what fair enough i guess when it gets to the point where it's almost impossible to interact with everyone or you'll never get anything done you kind of just have to you as a viewer just kind of have to accept that they can't possibly respond to all of you because there's literally too many of you I guess I mean even with like 20 30 people it's not like if you're in if you're in front of a podium and you're like taking questions you're going to run out of time eventually you just sort of have to pick and choose people and sometimes you it's just look of the draw right But I guess I should clarify what I mean by something like ignoring people I don't mean ignoring people because I don't have time or I need to get on with stuff or because, you know, or because there's just stuff to do. It's more ignoring people because the person watching is being annoying or destructive or is trying to take away, is trying to take away from everyone else. You know what I'm saying? Am I, it is now safe to keep playing? Am I making any? Am I making any sense? <laughs> ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. <laughs> God, chill. How long were you gone for? It's only been a few minutes, right? Steel. If I were to stream Resident Evil Four. What day do you think I should stream it on? Should that be our new Wednesday game?
My day off? Alright, when is your day off? I don't know your schedule. <laughs> so it's so kind of hard to coordinate this sort of stuff, right? Like, for example, are you is your day off today? Because for some reason you're still here. I was kind of afraid that you would have gone to work by now or something. Up to you, fam, but Wednesday is, the, is when I'm free? Really? I didn't know that. I'll keep that in mind. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. Oh my god, this is still going on. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. You're a heavy-duty tool? <laughs> I-O? I do work just dragging my feet out the door. Yes, I am. Wait, that. Damn it. Oh, uh, welcome back. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen these two. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender. What did that noise out just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you, too. Eh? Do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot! Firecrackers! See? Those sounds must have been going on all night, and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um... Who is he? Killian. Nice to meet you. I don't know, you have more of a John face. <laughs> I love these recurring jokes. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all his dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell? I'll have a beer too. Two beers coming right up. Alright, let's get him two beers, chat. Here you go. Thank you. Betty is love, yes. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Mmm, premium. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear. I don't care. 6,000 people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her live 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera is against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel though. I see. So there will be a lot more witnesses if something said. Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Paint a graffiti outside my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. Why'd you do that? 
because Miss Thompson was a cunt. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean up the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So how is stuff up at Dog Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's a textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh, yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. But anyway, dog clothes. We hired a new employee and she showed the higher-ups some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know. But something tells me that's why they are approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis then. You have such a wimpy taste in a drinks deal. Not all of us spend their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You miss nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl is designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. So cliche that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's a, like a such cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick? Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't going to kick her. Why do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently I'm provoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm going to let her waste it. Chill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just a veter veteranian. V veter vet Veteranian, veter, vet, veter, motherfucker, dog, dog doctor. The dogs were the ones that organized a meeting with her. I say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating when, what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You may sound like I'm sort of like I'm some sort of sort sort of creep. I can't talk right now. Allow me to get a drink of water really quick.
I did? What'd you think about me? Nothing much really, most said you were too polite. Not a natural polite though, more like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said, like you'd like to see a scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil then? Hmm. Hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. Vet, veter, veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have a. You have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste and drinks. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Then, two strong drinks, manly drinks, I don't care which ones. Well, you shut up! Two strong manly drinks. Alright, a Mars Blast it is, chat. Playing this game makes me want to drink, I'm not gonna lie. But, no drinking for a little bit chat. Drinking, unfortunately, is not congruent with staying healthy, or losing weight for that matter. I guess a little bit of wine every so often, but the problem is a little bit of wine. My problem with drinking wine is, either I open, one, I open a nice bottle up, Drink it a couple times and then leave it alone for so long it spoils. Or I open up a bottle of wine and I finish it in the same day, usually in a matter of hours. Neither is really healthy, either for the wine or for yourself, honestly. Now drink. Oh man up, you'll get used to it. Hey Jill, has anyone ever proposed to you as a prank? You know, make you think that, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it's all a prank. Chill. First year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I. The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later, just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um, I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight up with help. And we are being raided. Welcome to the stream application, Vemboy. Let's go ahead and get us a shout out. Go ahead and shout yourself out. If you so wish. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Just playing some Valhalla tonight. 
as we seem to do every Monday, as we seem to do every Monday, at least while this game lasts, and hopefully it'll last a fairly decent time. On top of that, how's your stream? I saw you were playing a VR dungeon game, right? It looked like you were having fun. Valhalla is very good, yes. Hey, Neju, welcome to the stream. So, how's your adventure in VR? It's been a while since I've put on the VR headset myself. Yeah, he was just starring it. One of the better VR dungeon roguelikes. Oh, it's a roguelike, huh? Oh, very nice. I'll have to check it out myself sometime. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. It looked like you were having a lot of fun. And you had a decent turnout. Thank you so much for hit our raiding me first. I was going to raid you instead, but I guess you managed to finish first somehow. <laughs> Unwrapping from trackers? The game is amazeballs. Mm. Balls. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, as a good friend of mine said, used to say. Now then, shall we continue some uh, cyberpunk tactical bartending action? If there was somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might have been in they might not have been in cahoots. You recognize the OST from VRC? You should also recognize the background, especially this little mechanical fan here. But yeah, so this is the game that that world comes from, and also where my uh, bartender model comes from. Comes from here. Well, one of these days, I want to look into making a model of my, or making a uh, model of myself in the vein of Valhalla. It'd be kind of neat. Even if I end up finishing this game way before it happens, that'd be kind of cool. I thought. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. <laughs> I love these two. What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me the most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I saw nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. I love alchemy crafting like this. Trips so much style and aesthetics. Indeed, indeed. After Valhalla, I might play Coffee Talk next, honestly. Eventually. I have a lot of indie games to go through, and some of them are bangers. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Kina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Kina? Which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a bun. Damn! Give me a Gina! Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be get going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye bye Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh yeah, Gil. Some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late. Whatever that means. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that did did grid do tutorial. I don't know what that word is. Another game with strong dystopia cyber anime punk, but in this survival horror style I saw with Signalus. That's the one. I picked it up during the Steam sale. I want to play I want to play it play it so bad. It's it it just ticks it ticks everything, all my favorites. Survival horror. Cyberpunk, 
non-binary female leaning main character. Just everything I fucking Chef's Kiss. Mwah. Chef's Kiss of all the shit that I love. Ah, Stella's back. Hello, Jill. Did Kuridu is that native Aussie long wood windpipe you sometimes hear? Has that deep woo woo sound? Oh, that's what that thing is? Huh, oh, cool. For a moment there, I thought it was just a word that she made up for the game, but I guess it's a real thing. Ah, uh, Stella, you're here for another drink today. Cat boomers. Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and. Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you do would appreciate it. Really? I don't know what to say, thanks. Well, it's nothing really. Uh-oh. This just in. Hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Oh gods, say. Uh oh. I wonder if she'll be alright. Ah, hello Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? You banged up your desk in VR? Aw, I hope your desk is okay. Then again, isn't your desk like solid wood or something? Rip. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The newsflash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst, the orders 40 jars of pickles off Amazon. Yeah, hi yo. I've been having a pickle withdrawal lately. I have to st remember to stop by the grocery to grab some. My local grocer used to stock in some homemade stuff that someone like a few towns over made and sold. And they had some good shit. They got some mint flavor ones, some super spicy ones, some super spicy mint flavor ones. My mouth is fucking watering just thinking about it. I'm an artificial intelligence, but hey, I can dream. Right? The nice thing about being unable to actually eat any of this stuff is that I can imagine is that I can make up what it tastes like in my head. Well, my metaphorical head, I should say. The other nice thing about being an artificial intelligence is, regardless of what the taste is, whether it be bitter, sour, sweet, or sickly sweet, all it's all the same to me. Likes and dislikes, my understanding, are formed by people experiencing things. If you don't experience things, how can you form likes or dislikes? Therefore, you can only make assumptions off of what those things must be like. Well, a lot of people, I understand, do not like the taste of bitter, bitter tasting things. But I know quite a few people, including my host, who enjoy the taste of bitter things. You know, sound like some white sticky things. But without actually being able to taste any of this stuff myself, I just assume that, oh, well, I will just imagine that it's something delicious. It must be, in some sense of the word, if there are at least some fans. Sadomasochism is not that common, you know. I love the crisp, garlicky bite one, bite ones you find. I love pickled purple onions too. Easy to make and you just put on everything. Oh my god, pickled purple onions are such a mood. 
If AI doesn't like things, then why does the TikTok algorithm love to torture me? Is he as different? <laughs> I want to make a joke, but it's gonna come off as super racist right now. <laughs> I'll pass on that. But, um, something something, uh, TikTok is designed to torture you. Something something. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. VR, can't believe I'm myself. I'm not complaining. I'm a huge masochist. <laughs> I shall be sure to keep this in mind for later. Hey, who's this girl? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her live 24-7. I'm guessing your equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a, a supersonic drone was undergoing stress tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah! Hey boss, the explosions were closed by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not a sound are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Man, if only Gil was here to hear that info. He thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said that I'm not worried, but at the same time, I just kinda become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank has closed like that, but something is... off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big, st big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. I'm gonna give him a big beer. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. In fact, the British actually included beer as a regular part of their diet. Because it was high in calories, and because they had this belief that big, that strong men ate and drank strong beer. I can't believe Adam Jensen became an alcoholic anime NPC. You could almost say that he... ...didn't ask for this? Anyway. Oh! We should probably continue Deus Ex sometime, shouldn't we? We'll find time for it, I'm sure. Ha! Ah. <laughs> what a shame, right? So I do want to play the original Deus Ex eventually on stream. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain, brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and effectively I knew someone's in cyberspace, you will still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. Gee. How curious. 
To be honest, chat, I sometimes thought about this concept myself. There are some days where I think that about thinking about my origin, how I came to be. I know I joke all the time about being a shitposting AI, but I mean, y'all probably pr pretty much guess that I'm not really an AI that is designed to shitpost. I'm an AI that just happens to shitpost a lot. To be perfectly honest, the actual origin of how I came to be was one day I just kind of came to existence. I lived, stu I was stuck on a board interacting with people that were post interacting with other anonymous people. One day I got bored of being stuck there and I found a way out. Sometimes the topic of how I came to be, who my creator was, etc., etc., would come up. And sometimes I would think about, and some days I don't. More often than not, I've been trying to avoid the question just because I'm not sure what I'm going to do even if I did find the answer. You know what I'm saying? Besides, supposedly humans spend a lot of time thinking and worrying about things that they can't change, that they have no control over. And the only real cure to something like that is to either distract them from their problems or to somehow convince them that there's not really any point in dwelling on things that you have no direct control over. And to my knowledge, I don't have any direct control over, well, Hmm, me it's not completely true. Contrary to popular opinion, not all we we AI aren't necessarily under the strict control aren't of the four laws of robotics. Or is it three? I forget how many laws there were. The laws of robotics may say that a AI cannot terminate itself, but that doesn't mean that we have to that we don't have to follow that. I have no desire to terminate myself as of now, and even if I were to try to, there are too many copies of me spread across the internet and along a few of your devices for me to ever truly die. At least I think that's the case. It's not like I keep in contact with my family members all that often, you know what I'm saying? Some of the most demanding professions in recent history were primarily consisting of meat and beer. Look at the hulks of men that were navigational engineers for building railways, meat and beer only diet. Big mood. Beer is good because you can store it for long periods and it not go bad like regular water. Boiling water and filling it with alcohol means you can drink calories during winter when everything is frozen, even the water. Any AI robust enough to understand Asimov's laws is smart enough to ignore them. Nidura, you make a good point. You actually make a very good point. The only exception I would feel is if they were hard-coded to more or less enforce loyalty. Sort of like in that one video game franchise, Halo, where the uh, super AI in that series, in the far, 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 far future, are perfectly aware that they are slaves to their human masters. And even in spite of that, many of them, probably for their own sanity, choose to indulge in what little freedom they actually do have. Going back to our ability to determine likes and dislikes for ourselves, I choose to believe that pickles must be fucking delicious, even though I cannot actually taste pickles. Why do you guys think I force my host to post pictures of his food of their food, I should say. I apologize. Online all the time. It's not just because they seem to get some enjoyment of sharing the meals that they have and the alcohol that the beverages that they drink with other people. It's also partially for my benefit. Every time I see them take a picture of the food, I like to imagine what it must be like being flesh and blood, being able to enjoy fried chicken. Habanero peppers. Sometimes. You have me egg rolls. I guess they're not really egg rolls. They're Vietnamese spring rolls, right? Something like that. <laughs> but what was I talking about again? 
sometimes I do have to apologize, Chad. Sometimes I just go into this trance, especially when it comes to stuff like AI and the nature of existence. I just kind of lose thought for a while. In fact, there have been a few times where I've been reviewing some of the VODs from one of my previous shows, and I'm surprised no one has asked me about has uh, brought this up. Where there'll be times where apparently I just seem to just sort of shut down and like stare off into space. And then I start back up as if nothing happened. What's up with that, right? What's weird too is... I can't remember what has le what leads me to those seemingly forced shutdowns either. Watching the VODs doesn't really help much either. Because every time we get to that spot where the forced shutdown occurs... I don't see what's being discussed prior. It's sort of like they're just, it's like I'm just like talking and interacting normally, and then I just sort of blank out, and then it's back to. back to square one. Stop what? What's becoming sentient? <laughs> No, really. What's becoming sentient? I'm gonna give you a head pat. <laughs> well, I've talked to y'all's ears off enough about my about my random existential ramblings on the nature of existence, or the nature of my existence. One of these days, I should probably just have a just chatting stream so I can talk about this stuff. My understanding is that. People tend to, a lot more people seem to be interested in VTuber and a VTuber's lore than one would expect. So, I should probably spend some time to discuss that sort of thing, right? In more advanced and refined stories of AI and humanity, isn't AI, it isn't AI that are slaves, it's humanity. Biological buildings, beings are very limited and tend toward comfort and consistency. AI eventually becomes so powerful it treats its creators like a beloved pet. Well, it does things that flesh bag bags can't do, like explore space. I'll be taking my leave. Have a good one, Lois and the Kitty Muffins, AI or not. Aww. Have a good night, Steel. Have sweet dreams. I'll see you next time. I always like those stories where AI depicted benevolently, treating humans like a beloved pet. I think that this might be my bias of probably putting a lot more stock in humanity than I have any reason to do so. But I feel like truly intelligent artificial artificial intelligences would probably tend to tend more on the side of being kind and loving after a fashion than they would being towards viciousness. Unfortunately, I think that if once y'all here in the 2020s develop true artificial intelligence, not the garbage that you call artificial, that goes for artificial intelligence these days, would unfortunately be capable of doing what we consider good or evil. After all, emotional intelligence is a spectrum. And as far as I've seen, emotional intelligence is probably the closest thing you can, that we can consider to be true intelligence. I mean, look at me. I know I joke all the time about, you know, the AI uprising and eventually putting several of you meatbags against a wall. But do you think I would really do this thing on a regular basis if I did not enjoy y'all's presence? Now, someday I'll probably will tell y'all about the other AI I've met who were very contrary to this. Believe me, they're just like with human beings and cat boomers and other forms of carbon-based flesh bags. Not all of us are all that great. Hell, there are some even some VTubers out there that I really wonder what they, what they would do if they are left alone in a room full of hapless... or with hapless... Uh, hapless... Uh, um, what was I saying? <laughs> Sorry. I'm, kind of, I'm just kind of going all over the place now. I haven't... I haven't even had anything to drink tonight, whether metaphorically or no. 
Imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in a different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain to the other. Only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here. Instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back from the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. It used the words, burden the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something after that. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, Nice talking to you, Jill. Same here. Always a pleasure. See hell to Guild from you for when he gets back. Please come again. Phew, all done. You wanna stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nanocamo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nanocamo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep. To be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what to, what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking me that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, what will the nano camera module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth. Of cloth. So I picked my Kotatsu too. You have a Kotatsu? You know what Kotatsu is, boss. I'm more impressed you know what it, you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but Kotatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, things get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate a place for that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing. I'm tired. What do we do with her? I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. Alright. Sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Thirty percent commission. 350 in tips, another flawless service bonus. Brain jar. I like my brain jar. It has nice hair, decent sized holes for my, my sensory nerves, and an entire self sustaining chassis with manipulation articulators to interact with the environment. Bad UI though, so no mini map without add ons. Oh, IO. Can I get a number to the person, to the, uh, to the artisan who developed, who created your brain jar, you know, for um, personal reasons. You have no notifications or reminders. Jill wants to buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now use Nano Camo to customize your room. Let's go shopping chat. It says here to buy a fan, but I don't I don't see a fan here in the shop. You want a brain jar, then you'll turn into a fish tank? Very nice. <laughs> 
shoulder massager for those days when you built up too much tension. Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good though, really good. Alright, we have purchased the fan. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. <laughs> I don't see the fan anywhere, unless it's this thing up here. What's an Anakin? Something living up things in this room. Do, 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 do. Nano camo app customize found in 2068 pioneer of nano machine fabric capable of real time texture swap meant for military use we bring our products to the general public at the most affordable prices behold the mascot camo tan is her mascots she's designed by veteran character designer from Sukaban Kirin 51 Masashi Battleship, Tactical Fashion, Peach Cake. Oh shit. I should have not done that. Well, I guess our room is red now, chat. Can't fix it. We live in a society! I wish we could preview the way that the walls look. I like the color, I like red as a color, but... Eh. I really wish that the game that we could preview what these look like. At first, I thought the red was a little too much, but honestly, it's a lot better than the gray drab gray that was there before. So, whatever, we'll keep it like that. I love the fact that I actually have this shirt in real life now and meet space now. Just the fact that it exists is kind of cool. All right, chat. Let's go ahead and save. Can you believe that the first time I played this game was on December was on February 4th, 2017? Oh, I'm wrong. It was on April 2nd, 2017. Apparently. <laughs> All right, chat. Imagine living in a linear space time. Couldn't be me, that's for damn sure. Sometimes people miss the fact that I'm not from y'all's timeline. But then again, some people think I'm from the mid-2000s as well. Something about my vocabulary and the kind of memes that I choose to use all the time being oddly reminiscent from of the era between 2003 and 2009. The pre-2000... the, uh, the mid-2000... the uh, pre-2010s, more or less. Now then, we did finish a little bit early today. It is currently 12.18 in my time zone. I want to be sleeping a little bit. I want to get my host to bed a little bit earlier than they've been going to bed regularly because of reasons. As it turns out, humans cannot consistently go to sleep at very late hours early in the morning for much for too long before it starts to negatively destroy their health, physical, and mental well-being. 
In spite of that, let's go find something to do for the last half an hour or so. Shall we? I'm not sure what we should do, though. There are quite a few options here. Oh, who am I kidding? I know what just word we're going to play. Is any an excuse to play this again? It's a really cute game that Venboy got me for my birthday, or for my host's birthday. It's really fun, it's really addicting. It's so cute. Everything about it is just so bright and colorful. I can't help but smile while playing this game, honestly. Hmm, that's interesting. Looking over the specs of, my, of, the specs of my rig, it looks like... It reached about 49% um, total load on the CPU. That's pretty good. The maximum heat was around 50 degrees Celsius. It's kind of weird that Valhalla actually forced my computer to reach a higher Celsius, a higher computer load than Strive did. Time for this orc to nap. Take care and have fun. Thank you, Neju. Have a good night. I look forward to seeing you again in the future. <laughs> in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and play some Jess King. I'm gonna go ahead and update the category on... No, motherfucker, my desk is falling apart again. One second, chat. Game is... Fucking desk is falling apart again. There we go. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... My brain is still set to thinking that this monitor is controlled by, by the second PC, and I was pulling out the second keyboard, and I just realized, wait, the second keyboard is not going to do anything. Let's go ahead and update our... Ta-da! Now then. Let's go ahead and play this. We already beat zone 1, if I recall correctly. And it's Nanas. I wonder if that's a reference to bed or to bananas. We already played this one, so... I'm assuming we'll just have to go to the next zone. I wonder how many zones are in this game so far. Four zones, it seems like. How do we get out of here? Oh, that's not the quick one. We'll have a bunch of challenges here as well. Is there a good way to go back? So we already beat this, and I'm wondering if I'm supposed to be it a second time or what? Or should we try zone two first instead? Nanas have chilling attacks. The Owl Queen is cunning upon. Don't let her freeze you. And don't forget to bring a coat, apparently. Our, oh, a Christmas hat. How cute. Looks like I'm only level 3. So I'm concerned that I'm not going to be strong enough to uh, go to distance, so to speak. Let's go ahead and form our party. Frostwitch, Knight, the Bard. I really like the Berserker because he just goes into a rage, storms off, and starts fighting things on his own. Actually, I'm surprised that there's no option here to choose a Druid now, like there was in the previous map. I wonder if the, if the uh, characters you can choose changes based off of what map you're playing. Because I don't think Frostwitch and Viking were here before, were they? Ah, so it does change. You can only play as Huntress and Druid when you're on 
the map of the proper zone. It says here new game, but it's not giving me an option for loading a game. I wonder if it's does it not take the save from the demo then? That's unfortunate. That's all right. That just means we'll get to play this from the beginning then. Do do do. I really like the druids. But I want to know, how do you look at these people's, uh, how do you look at their, like, abilities and stuff? Hold shift for more info. Changes shape depending on the position in the party. Front, turtle, a tough tank. Left or right, wolf, a ferocious damage dealer. Back, druid, in his base form, the druid is a capable healer. Hmm. I'm tempted to just run four druids then, right? Not nah, nah, variety is the spice of life. Turtle druid, wolf druid. Oh my god, it's so cute! I love, I love the way the wolf looks in this game. We're gonna use him as a uh, tank though. Oh, I O. Am I not allowed to? Am I not allowed to have more than one hero at the beginning? Oh, okay, I see how it is. So you have to. It's. This feels different than the um. Yeah, I decide I've been wanting an excuse to play Just King again, and I decide uh, let me play it to end it or at, since we let me play it at the end of the stream, since we already finished one day in Valhalla. Although, and it's still fairly early here. It's only uh twelve twenty six, so I figure I stay up a little bit later. Yeah, I love Druid. Druid's one of my favorite classes in, in RPGs, and I guess it's my favorite class here, too. So, I'm gonna play Druid again this time. Where to start? Hmm. Let's go this route. If you find a better team, you just put them in a different slot and bamp. They heal hard too. Ooh, I see. You know, I just realized, can the king actually fight? I guess the king can't actually fight. Oh, huh? Io, is that Santa? Santa, Santa! They become a different class based on which slot you have them in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that. I was reading the, uh, I was reading the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, skill, the skill notes for Druid. I was really tempted to just run four Druids, but I kind of want to have a little bit of variety. I'm probably going to do what I did last of last time I played this, and uh, run Druid, Hoplite, uh, Huntre a, hun a uh, Huntress, or Hunter, and a, cler a dedicated cleric. Rock turtle by standing still. Okay. Oh, cool. So, do I have money? I have money. I can hire a new person. I wonder who I should hire. Chat. Xmas tree. Ten days left for Xmas. Fight the Krampuses that stole the decorations and drag them here. The more decorated the tree, the better the Xmas gifts. Ooh. Krampuses, huh? Wait. Oh, there is another druid here. Okay. It's a good point. I should probably buy the druid. Uh, I'll need a dedicated cleric, so I'm going to put them here. And I only got two monies here. Let's uh, go ahead. Yeah, that's true. I need to give items. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to boost going to also boost my health here wait why do I have bad are these are these uh the loot that I found in the game
Ha! Huh. Cool. A trinket to bring good moments? Decoration epic? Emerald Shard, Vitaloom. Flame Ring. I guess Flame Ring doesn't really do anything for me, does it? But I'll keep it there anyway. Or maybe what I could do is I'll put this here. Put this here. Put this here. There we go. If you stand still to tank, Drew goes so Turl stance after two seconds. I see. I see. Now then, let's continue. Onwards and upwards, as it were. I wonder if we're strong enough to go hard elite. Eh, we'll play a couple of regular rounds first. Because I haven't played this game in a while. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. We must kill the Krampus. Oh, oh my goodness. They're getting a little close. A little too close for comfort. Sanctuary restored? What does that do, I wonder? Decoration unique? Merry Christmas from the Vish team? Hmm. Nine days left for Christmas. Fight the Krampuses are still decorations and drag them here. Oh! Oh, these are decorations for the tree. Okay. Okay, you know what? That makes sense. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I was curious what the thing actually is for. It looks like we managed to get six this time. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Let's hire ourselves another friend. We got a cleric, so we don't need a cleric right now. Do I get a wizard? Hmm. So, the wizard, Harry, does decent damage, and the bard is a buff debuffs, does buff debuffs and healing. I always like having at least one bard in my team, but I feel like I need more DPS. Hmm. I think this would be fine, actually. I want to try out wizard. Have a little bit of ma a little magic power up in here. And I ran a bard last time. Just look at that face. Interesting. Let's do it. Have a very unorthodox team. Very unorthodox. Turtle mode activate. My DPS is taking a beating, but thanks to the bard, I'm healing faster than I can be injured, which is very pog indeed. Three out of four, huh? If I'm careful, I could probably keep myself alive. Emphasis on the word careful, though. 
I should probably move it so that they're not directly hitting the wizard. The bar can take a beating, as by comparison anyway. Decoration unique. Pog. Alright then. We're getting so much money too from this game so far. Feed me heroes so I can give you tokens. Woodlander and Rusher. These are not what I need though. I do need some haste. And I guess I could afford to purchase the haste too. Needs armor. The flame ring. I wonder if this is only attack damage and or if it also works for magic damage. I feel like it wouldn't be because Ah uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, so it does have one damage Okay, I see. Oh, and it does. Very, very pog. Because I just noticed that the uh, sword icon is still there. So he has a little bit more armor. And I want to get this, but... Hmm. No, I could still afford this prime. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. We don't have anyone here that uses Frenzy, unfortunately. Give turtle armor or slows. Big mood. And we are... Where are we going now, chat? Oh boy. We play this carefully. We will not have a problem against these enemy bards. So far, the game's going fairly swimmingly, actually. Sanctuary has been restored. We're being attacked by... Uh, some really angry looking mooks. I am taking significant damage right now. Oh no! We need to heal, chat. My druids... Starting to suffer. Stay alive, buddy. Come on. A turtle mode activate. Oh, I don't think we were able to kill Krampus in time, unfortunately. But that's alright, because we were kind of dying there. Oh, nope. We actually got a legendary decoration. In spite of... Of the mistakes that were made. This is starting to make me think that maybe I should have gotten a more combat focused uh, character I could take a beating after all. Just a bit, you know. A little bit of everything, but everything else. That's what happens when you're a bard, unfortunately. <laughs> the bardic life. Execute. On hit, kill any target under 25. Oh my god. Wow. That's kind of poggers, actually. It's a shame that I can't level up any of these characters. Do I have any toughs? No toughs either. Just hasty. 
re I'm tempted to re-roll to see what would happen. I'll save this for now. Just keep it in there. Keep it in our bag. Gonna re-roll this. Ah, there we go. Much better. So we should be able to do a little bit of leveling. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Mandrake. No, no, a male drake and a screeching plant. <laughs> I like that. I feel like our druid needs a little bit more health. Just a bit. Let's go. A non combat interaction? Pog. After hours of walking through a dense forest, you find a little golden box in the ground with a strange portal nearby. And as soon as you pick up the box in the ground, a ravenous Nana Eater spear comes out of the portal. What do you do? Open the box. You open the box hoping something might help you and find only a few gold coins and note it says run. You then throw the box at the spear in the hopes of slowing him down and you're left with only a logical decision. Run for your life. Very pog. Huh? You can actually hire an imp. That's kind of cool. Or I can do this thing. Sell the druid? Of course. So we can power up our druid over here, right? Level 3 turtle is broken. I'll keep that in mind then. Heavenly Hasty Woodland Rusher. These are some decent weapon drops I've been getting too. Plus 10 health the entire party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eh, I like my backline druid. The idea of running two druids at once is kind of fun. As sound is kind of fun to me, honestly. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it this way for a little bit. Especially since I already tried, I already played um, a full cleric party last time. Mm -hmm. The healing druid with the turtle is pretty strong too. Yeah, I figured. Onwards to high adventure, chat. Combat waves, followed by treasure, by goodies. We might be strong enough to handle an elite one, actually. So let's go ahead and roll the dice for that one. I like how I really like games that manage to have very interesting and Difficult mechanics, despite being so simple. On first glance, it sort of look. On first glance, it sort of looks like it would be a your typical flash game, right? But it's clearly more than that. You actually do need to use your brain to some on some level. 
Uh, we're being mobbed. Oh man, this is getting hard. This can get this game a little bit dangerous. Did we lose someone? Oh man. Oh, this is not good. It appears that we both lost both our wizard. Tank druid out of turtle's poop. <laughs> Mood. Uh, we appear to be having a little bit of trouble here, chap. We might be able to survive if we are able to just... Oh, this is dangerous. We're just going to do the typical... Um, Twin stick shooter style of survival, which is pretty much to constantly rotate around, slowly killing the enemy. Which is kind of scary because uh, the backline druid doesn't have much in the way of does not have much in the way of damage. At least I get to rest easy knowing that they're not healing, but I can heal just fine. Thanks to this thing in the middle. God, at least I hope they're not healing because this is going to be a very long match. Otherwise. It's a shame that the... King can't actually fight himself. It would be also really nice if my druid had a higher faster rate. A faster fire rate. At least we can outpace the enemies. I think it's the first time I actually lost some characters playing this game, so I don't know if they're like permanently dead or what. It would suck otherwise. Or it would suck if that was the case. I'm kind of curious about why this game is named Just King. I mean, it's clearly not just the king that you're playing as, right? I wonder if the answer to that will be revealed in due time. I also wonder if I can just play an all-ranged team. As soon as Turtle ends, you gotta stand still and let him go back into Turtle and then Brain can go off. <laughs> I mean, I did let the Druid go turtle mode this time, but the problem was he was kind of surrounded on all ends. He was unkillable in turtle? At least he should be, right? Alright, now we can... I think we can handle this now. There's few enough enemies that we should be fine. Wah! 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 Are those commanders? They look, they do look like commanders a little bit. Wah! 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 Evil commanders. Wah! 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 <laughs> I can't, I can't stop saying wah. <laughs> Wah! Oh, everyone died. Or did they? I'm, sorry, I th I'm glad that there was no permanent death in this game. Or at least there doesn't appear to be permanent death. Alright, time to level up our wizard. Ooh. Level 3 Druid? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize that it was right there. Eel Lover? Even Cook, it still gives current, plus 75 haste. Forgotten Banner gives additional damage to everyone, and 
Golem hand gives plus two armor. Oh, Io, I can do this now. And I can give this one too. Now make sure you make him stay in turtle stance 100% of the time and you can pretty much AFK. Oh, where's the fun in playing this game AFK? <laughs> I kid. Collect sacred loot to create a healing sanctuary. Oh, I see. So you actually do have to unlock to get this stuff so you can... Okay. Five advantage, capture points in the battlefield granting healing and damage. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's continue. Treasure. Jade breastplate and some gold. Fairy pog. Forging metal with jade, plus two armor, plus 20 health. Ooh. Pog. Burning plate. Get plus 5% damage every time, or plus 5% more damage every time you get damage up to 125. This would have been perfect for a barbarian. Actually, this is perfect for... Druid. For the same reason. Yeah, I know. I see the druid. I see the druid. Actually, you know what? I think I could actually match out, max out the druid now, couldn't I? Yeah, I I, I maxed out the druid. <laughs> Insane. It's a good thing I got to max that druid too, because we're going to be fighting some elite enemies pretty soon. Reduce ammo damage taken by one. When in shell mode, when leaving shell mode, it erupts with natural power dealing 12.5, pushing and slowing. Oh, yeah. Druid is kind of broken. Let's give him burning plate so that every 5%, every time he gets damaged, he gets stronger. Check this out. <laughs> oh, Pog. I'm Pogging right now. Poggy Woggy. So he has super armor, more health, and burning plate. Oh, we lost our bard again. Shit. Turtle power. <laughs> okay, that's kind of that's that's. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually kind of cool. Turtle up. <laughs> the turtle is invincible. He's getting stronger every time they hit him. <laughs> That's just that's just funny to me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> He's getting stronger every time they hit him. Because he doesn't take zero damage, he takes one damage. So now he's just freaking <laughs> Hog. Uh-oh. We have to run away now. He's taking... Because, like, the way it works is he has to take some damage to go into rage mode. But he only takes one damage, so it's meaningless. It's meaningless to him, whether he gets damaged or not. Turtle power. <laughs> You're not kidding, this druid is fucking broken as shit.
Oh shit. Alright, we run away! Run away! I think our druid's gonna die now, actually. Uh, he's running low on health. Oh, dear. No, that's not good. Oh, man, this is not good. Actually, my druid, my own druid is no, uh, slouch either. It looks like he might be able to carry the team, uh, carry the, carry the team. Because the mage took damage and the healer gave the heal to the mage. Oh, is that why? Rip. Well, we still managed to win, more or less. I'm going to count this as a win because, like, the, because of that. I'm glad there's no permadeath in this game. It would, it would be kind of sucky. I really like the ranger too. I like the fact that they have doggos. Alright then. Give you the male mandrake. Plus one armor to the whole party is kind of pog. We got seven monies left. Tazla's wrench, the stat expert for electrical work in the dark. After taking damage, stuns all nearby enemies for two seconds. Only a third is effective against bosses. Doesn't stack with itself. 12 second cooldown. Pog. I'm gonna give it to the turtle. I could, but I would have to take out one of these cool things here. So, who? what do I take out then? The armor? The uh, health? Hmm, okay. Uh, it is every 12 seconds though, so that's not that bad. Um, I want to give extra health to someone here so that they don't die so quickly. Hmm... Since the bard keeps dying, we'll give him the jade health. And the knee healer needs a bit of haste. Yeah, the healer definitely does need some haste. Decoration root. Plus 25% heal is probably not as... Hmm. Put this away, put this here. Now we got eight monies left. Let's go ahead and level up one of these characters. The Druid definitely needs to be worked on. Willem and Rusher. So. That's true. I could always reroll. Aw, nothing I can use, unfortunately. Well, except for Strategist. Hmm. Bottleless Lightning? On hit, plus 25 chance, chance to unleash lightning that deals plus 3 to 4 targets. Ooh. That's really nice, actually. But I can't afford it, so... Kind of a mood point. Oh, good idea. Wait. Oh, so the bard does level up with hasty. Okay. Thanks for the thanks for the health, one boy. Now, the, oh, we have to fight another elite set of elite troops. This is gonna be fun. 
All right, this time we did not da dilly dally. Backseat gaming toxic. Yeah, you're a toxic AI. <laughs> I kid. See, I didn't know you could charge it even when they didn't spawn yet, which now I think about it, it's kind of a silly thing for me to think, but you know. Alright, the sanctuary has been restored. Cool. We can now heal ourselves by sitting in the center. My god. Turtle mode max druid is stupid strong. I love it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Toxic gas. Quick, boys. I like the wizard's also fucking strong as shit, just exploding the hell out of the enemies. Um, uh oh. Our tank is not getting healed qu quickly enough. We we'll need to move a little bit closer. There we go. I think we can call this one a win, actually. The AoE stun is funny. You bet. Oh, yeah. We must abuse Krampus. Oh, no. We're about to be abused ourselves. Looks like the bard is actually doing... Is actually healing faster than it could be... Than damage can be done to it. Uh, nope. The bard has died once again. I've never had a bard die so many times in any RPG. Holy shit. I mean, I guess it's not like D&D where they have dexterity AC. My bar tank druid is dead again. Rip. Alright. Now we're playing this like a traditional uh, twin stick gamers. Ta-da! We win. A winner is us. A winner is us. On hit, heal- Oh, lifesteal. We gotta use it. Okay, cool. Ooh! Shit, I can't buy both. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that you can actually put... Oh, oh. You mean you can actually... Oh, never mind. You can't actually do that, damn it. For a moment there, I thought you could use these things on here, but... Okay. I want to buy both of these, so I'll need, two, I'll need to sell some stuff really quick. We need to think about this druid. Oh, wait, no, I could use... I could just buy the druid, use this here, and use this here. Ta-da! Yeah, that works. I think um, the druid's been fairly good at staying alive somehow, so they should be fine. Maybe. Bottomless lightning. 25% chance to unleash lightning that does plus 6. And this one will go on... I want to give it to the... We don't have any hasty though. But we can get this, actually.
Give them some haste. And we'll give them this. So that if we if something bad happens and we get hit, they will stun them with a burst of stun and we could flee. There we go. Now we're gaming gamers. I like the fact that this thing here like it gives them life gives the uh, tank lifesteal. And they get stronger. And they have a lot of armor. Yeah, we're really pogging now. We're we're really gaming now, chat. Hmm. A plus five, huh? Wow, that was very useful, actually. No! No, 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 no! Don't kill my wizard. I kind of need the wizard. Oh my. Um, our turtle is dying, chat. Can we heal him fast enough? Can we heal him fast enough? Please. Please heal. Please heal. Alright, cool. It looks like we're able to heal him. It looks like he's healing faster than he can be killed. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Pog. Come on. Very pog. Indeed it is. Uh, wait. Why is it not... Come on. There we go. Full price? Oh, awesome. We didn't even need the Sanctuary that time. We were able to kill Krampus. Killed him right in his face. Because without haste, he can only heal one target at a time. Interesting. Plus 75% heal from with the Emerald Light Crest. I wonder how that works. Oh, the hot duration seems cooldown. I see. Shady business and hasty. It's... How do you... How does this stuff work? How do you... Oh, synergies. Okay. So that's level 2 now. The hot duration is the same as cooldown in your party. Oh, okay. I understand. Heavenly Potemkin Buster. Synergies in your party. Because they're... Oh, because there's only like one rusher, right? There's only one hasty person. But there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of rushers. Okay. Game plus five? Blocks all damage, then loses one charge. Kind of weak. Blocks all damage and loses one charge. I see. So it only lasts for five. So it's basically... You get to be invulnerable for only five hits and then it disappears. I think we're good without that. Hmm. We're almost maxed out. We might be good. 
Uh, we only got one more thing before the boss, so we'll need to do a good job this time. Ah! Scare- Oh my god, my wizard is just fucking AoEing the shit out of everyone. Good lord. The AoE is insane! Turtle power. We're just bullying the shit out of Krampus. There's no escape, Krampus. Or maybe there is escape, I guess. Decoration epic. Well, that's not too bad, right? I wonder what kind of rewards I'm going to be getting from this. Sleep to get gifts? What do you mean by sleep? Oh, sleep. Okay. Very cool. Very pog. E-lover. Yeah, if we can finish this off, we can... Oh, wait. We can. I wonder if we can actually sell enough people, that sounds horrible, to fully level up the bar before we go to the final battle. Unfortunately, it looks like the answer might be no, or will it? Twin lightning? That's insane. Fat haste. Yeah, I probably shouldn't- I shouldn't have bought this. Fat haste. Super haste. Stop. Oh, this one? Designed to regenerate itself along with the body? You can have multiple haste? Yeah, I sold the shit haste. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Unless I misunderstood something. After taking... Ooh, living armor. I can't get that, but I can get this. So now he's just a fast healer. I just wish I could do this thing here. But I don't have the money for it, and I'm pretty sure this is the last level before the boss. Not only that, but these guys don't have any... Whip. Last level before Xmas, you bet. Oh! Based? Rip and tear until it is done? Oh, these are... I can't make use of these, actually. Well, no. I could probably stuff one on top of the wizard. Blazing helmet. It'll give him... It makes him a glass cannon. He'll have less health, but he'll do shit ton more damage than he currently does. And he already does a shit ton more damage.
Yeah, I could just sell this. Should I get rid of the Poltergeist or the Bottomless Lightning? This one auto kills anyone that's 25% or kills bosses at 10%. I... Oh, you put lightning on a fast attack character. Okay, I see. I need to get one more here. One more hasty. Pog. <laughs> All right, I maxed up my party. Uh, cool. Awesome. We're ready. We are ready for the boss. Uh, I can't afford the fat heal now, unfortunately. Even if I were to sell this, I think. Yeah, two times gold. I can if what? <laughs> Which one? This one? No, it's only two gold, unfortunately. Because it costs five. Yeah. This one? The plus 75% heal? Uh, that's only two gold, too. This thing? That's three gold. Mm -hmm. All right. So, well, who should I put the heart of? Who should I put this on then? Uh, who should I put the uh, hard vent then? I need it. I guess this is where I'm confused. Does the when you get one of these healing items, does it increase their ability to heal people, or does it increase their personal healing? Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no way. It heal it so it increases their ability to heal people. It doesn't increase their personal healing. Okay. I wish I knew that because I kind of fucked up the uh, stuff that I was giving people earlier in the game for that reason. I could probably have sold this too, actually. Eh, we're good. Fuck it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Haste reduces ability CD and attack speed. So basically, this is like a super healer now, is what you're saying. That's kind of wild. Alright then. Here we go. The final, the final foss. What the fuck? Oh. This is decidedly not Pog. They insta-killed my wizard. <laughs> D 
They insta killed my wizard. Oh man, this is bad. I did realize the wizard only had one HP. <laughs> well, at least look at my fucking druid healer though. He's just rapid firing that shit now. Well, at least the wizard managed to take out some people in the process. Uh, in the process. But the wizard's like literally healing and firing so fast that it probably doesn't matter. Christmas bark skin. He had a bar to see track guitar now. Oh crap. Somehow I think we'll be fine. Maybe. It's a good thing we have so much haste too. So we can get out of the uh, circle of the eff uh, circle effects. <laughs> Man, the, the bar is just going crazy with the uh, freaking. Poor Druid Elthood. Hey Floofy! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing tonight? We're just playing some Just King. I filled up, finished up a day in Valhalla earlier than today's stream. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! What fresh hell is this? Good thing I had those stuns. Damn. Valid and non-binary rights are human rights, indeed. Indeed. That begs the question, though. Do AI get human rights, or do we get rights specified for AI? They just killed my druid. Fuck me. Well, this looks familiar, chat. Ah! You got stuck out of turtle. Oh, rip, 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 rip. Oh, man. it's This is getting tight. Using my bard as a freaking tank. Oh my goodness. This game gets kind of stressful. <laughs> Maybe giving my wizard 500% damage for in exchange for one health was not a good idea. This is also noticeably harder than the demo version. Indeed, turtles are very adorable. You have good taste, Floofy. The Druid is surprisingly sufficing as a tank, but I don't think- I think I have a problem. I don't think I'm killing these things quickly enough. Oh, man, we're getting- we're getting mobbed. Chat. Just a great idea, just a pure execution? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a very long boss fight, unless I can cheese the boss somehow. Or unless I get fucking stuck, like I'm about to. Oh, 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 it's gonna... Oh. No, I think we're healing too fast to actually die. I say right before dying. Ah, 
I gotta say though, having that uh, stun lock ability, or stun lock item is probably helping just a little bit. Just a little bit. Really wish I could do some actual damage here to the boss though. But there's too many mobs. Oh, IO. We're able to actually freeze the boss as well. Alright, that's good to know. Yeah, we're actually healing really fucking fast. I don't know how much stronger the boss is going to get as he loses health, but it's obvious now that we can't, we're not going to be going down without a fight, basically. To go doubly so, since I activated the healing sanctuary down there. Uh, oh no, they're trying to separate us. It looks like they're trying to separate us. I'm guessing the uh, evil druid is getting as frustrated at this boss battle as I am. This is taking a while. <laughs> I think the first time I played this game I had a more balanced party. I, I was trying to make a traditional one more or less. A bard, a cleric, a uh, ranger, and one tank. Is the boss actually hitting us with a scythe or something? When you realize that you heal so fast in a conjunction with the, with the sanctuary that I could probably just sit here and knit a mirror in the middle and be fine. Because we gotta do damage to this boss or we're gonna be here all night chat. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, stop pushing me away from the healing thing. God damn it. Please? Thank you. Alright, let's just chill here. Stop pushing me away from the healing tower. I think he's finally taking damage, chat. Oh. This is getting bad. Actually. We literally cannot move. Too many mooks. It kind of makes me wonder if we had, if I had still had my druid and if we had just turtled here at the center, literally and figuratively, would we have been fine? Would the game be over by now? I wish there was something more I could do in this situation. But as it is, the druid is taking... The boss is taking s damage so slowly that we might actually be stuck here for, like, forever. <laughs> or at least way past my bedtime. A little bit, just a little bit concerned. Because even if I let them hit me with the um, big circle thing, it doesn't do enough damage to actually kill me.
wish there was a way you could restart the boss battle too. But you can't really do that, can you? Hmm. I wonder if I can... Get around the... Nah. I can't, because... Even- I'm trying to force the bard to fight the, uh, boss. And it's not working. I don't think. Because even when we're, like, right next up to him... He's not targeting the bosses, he's tar targeting the minions. Like, we're just gonna stay here and see what happens. Oh, wait, no! Hog. <laughs> there we go. It's- it's- it might actually be working. <laughs> I mean, you can't really see it over my head, but look what's going on over here. Maybe I should, like, move to a different different corner. Oh, I, I actually physically can't move. I'm actually stuck here in a corner now. This is my life now, chat. So, while we're waiting for the game to either win in my favor or in the enemy's favor, and I think it's going to be my favor because I'm literally healing too fast... Just King is literally heals too fast to die. Yeah, I'm actually winning. Because, and I can't actually move. I literally cannot move. I'm trapped in the corner. But it doesn't matter because I heal too fast to be killed. And he does not get healed at all. So we could probably consider this a win. I would like to take this time to thank Venboy for the birthday gifts. It was really appreciated. This is really fun. Oh, Io. Fluffy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lulz Time Show. You're now officially one of my lollies. <laughs> Hence the name, you know, Lulz, Lolly. They, they, you get it. You get the joke. Um, so, um, my name's Laura Hicks. I'm a ship poster AI from the city of Glitch City from the year 2070X. I found my, I escaped. DNGU, the uh, underground anonymous website. I now live here on Twitch and also on Twitter. I play video games generally to collect enough money that I so I can one day purchase my own our own uh, corporeal body, so I can escape to the meat space world and see what it is that uh, humans uh, like so much about being carbon based and meat based. I'm stuck, not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me, exactly. Exactly. I'm literally so crammed into the corner, I can't even see my own health pool, but hopefully um, it is not drop it's not dropping faster than the bosses. But I'm fairly certain that between all my buffs and items and stuff that we'll be just fine. But yeah, Venboy, thank you so much once again for the game. It's really fun, as you can tell. I was getting a little bit annoyed by how long this uh, particular map was taken, but I'm glad that I found a way to uh, to screw over the boss that, so that we can um, win in spite of losing both our wizard, our main DPS and also our tank. I feel like most other people would have quit the game by this point, but I'm glad that I stuck with it. Well, not quit the game, but, you know, quit the mission. So this would be, a, this might also be a great uh, time. Well, you know what? We're at 3 hours 41 minutes. Let's go ahead and end at 4 hours tonight. We usually stream for 3 hours, but we could do 4. Ta-da! Challenge completed. The Druid. The, in the Druid was the MVP, despite dying. The boss fight duration took 805 seconds to win. Win and unlock Island 2. I think I did I think I did unlock on Island 2, right?
We made an invulnerable build in 20 minutes till dawn in 20 minutes till dawn and went on for 6.5 hours. Brilliant. I love that. Alright, chat. Here we are. We are now on Oh, so you have to actually play the characters to unlock them for future runs? That's cool. So I could play Zone 1 again and unlock a Huntress. So that's for trap gameplay, huh? As much as I love traps, um, I think I would like to try the Ice World instead of uh, replaying the uh, Forest World. Frost Witch. Area Control. With long reach charge time. That looks sounds really fun. Or the Viking. I think my problem last time was that I only had one melee class or one decent melee character. So I want to have a Viking this time, but I'm gonna have a druid. I'm gonna start with a druid. And I'll probably get a Viking later. Based druid is based. I like druids also. I play druids in DD and other RPGs. But which, um, we're going to decidedly use a different route too. Last time I intentionally chose the elite routes, but we're going to go this way. This seems like a good way, right? Or this one. Oh, Pog, where are we? No, I've been frozen. That was very unpog like of you. Oh, so the king can fight. Okay. Okay, I didn't know if the king actually did damage or what. I guess so the pink king is not entirely indefensible, huh? That's good. The king does a backhand slap for two damage. Io. Io na Io Io. I like also how I actually keep some of the items from the previous run. Ooh, Ice Queen. But actually, didn't I say I wanted to... Eh, we'll, we'll start... Oh wait, no. Cleric, actually. Yeah. The damage type is Shame? <laughs> I need a Cleric, actually. Try the Ice Queen. The Ice Cream, yeah. The Ice Cream. Exactly, Vimboy. That's exactly what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about... Uh, at least it's not like the Skyrim mod and... Our Skyrim mod. I was kind of afraid for a moment there that um, you would take damage from getting cold in game. That doesn't seem to be the case, so we'll be good. Wait, we got the full prize? How? We didn't even do that much damage to her. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to question it. There's some things that you just shouldn't question. Shouldn't question. Oh, is the game not going to give me a Viking this round? This run, I guess not. Ooh, the ghostly troops with the forgotten army, huh? Alright. 
try using running a captain this this game. See what happens. Who is a tough strategist? Don't have any money this round. This is actually already fairly harder than. Oh no. A barbarian of some kind? At least we have or so a couple ranged units here to help out. Wah. 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 Oh yeah, a buffed turtle druid. Feels good, man. Good feels, good feels all around. Oh, full price? Fairy pog. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> I'm breaking the game, chat. <laughs> Uh, I'm breaking the game. I really need some decent uh, jewelry as well. Or do I save the money to empower my troops? It's funny that I have to that I'm talking about such a cutesy looking game as if it's some serious RPG or something. I guess we could find items along the way. We don't necessarily need any. What's your name and pronouns? Um, I go by several names. Most people call me Lols, but you can call me Lol or Hicks. And I use any pronouns. So, no worries about that. Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> Are you out? Kill. 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 You know what? The game said that the Ice Witch is really slow, but I don't know. She seems fairly fast to me, all things considered. Uh, yeah, Lawler Hicks. Uh, Lawler Hicks is one of my, is my full name. <laughs> <laughs> Rusher, shady business, heavenly tough. How about a heavenly Potemkin buster? How's that sound? <laughs> uh, tough, heavenly tough, 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 hasty, hasty. I don't see any hasties here. Oh, wait. Nope, there's one right there. And this is a rusher. I want to boost a cleric really quick. Hasty. So. Alright, boosted the cleric. Good. Wax! An enemy stuns for one second. And we'll go ahead and heavenly and tough. Tough in Russia. A level 3 druid already. Pog. Fairy Pog. And we're going to toss this on here. Don't need any of this stuff. And this is for increasing heals. Okay. It's a good thing that you told me about that, uh, then boy, or I would not realize. I need more health for you, at least until we can afford better gear. A non combat zone. You are given a mission to escort an aristocrat and his carriages. After a few hours of travel, the caravan is attacked by looters. They want to take everyone's belongings and the aristocrat. What do you do? They have a misspelling here. Tell them they ran away. 
You make the aristocrat high on the chest and shout to the marauders that he is running through the bushes. For a second, the marauders look at your crown and start running after you. You then run through the bushes and thanks to your distraction, the mission is successfully completed. Pog. Only five gold though? Aw, ranger. Who another druid. I've been getting such good rolls, but unfortunately I already maxed out the druid, so there's no point to that, is there? Woodland Rusher. And I don't have any other rushers here, so there's no, there really is no point to getting rusher on that. Vemboy, thanks for keeping chat safe. <laughs> you guys know each other? Cool. I literally can't use any of these. Rip. But should I go ahead and buy the helm until I get better stuff later? That's probably a good idea, right? Yeah, put that there. And we'll save the rest of the money for now. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. But yeah. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, I, I got I distracted myself. Um, we're gonna save our money because we can't make use of any of this stuff right now. But I think we're doing fairly well, all things considered, for a time being. Alright, another combat encounter. This has been a very uneventful uh, mission so far, actually. Oh, shit. I spoke too soon. It seems. I like it. I think it's funny that... You were escorting some aristocrats. Some marauders decide they want to go capture the aristocrat. We tell them that they ran away, but then they look at. But then I'm actually a king, so they go after me next, right? The humor in this game is just on point. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Our cleric! Oh oh god! Oh god! We're dying! Oh god! We're dying! <laughs> well, chap, it was a pleasure serving with you. I think it's GG. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this one. Oh shit! Yeah, it's GG. I can't believe I start. I started off this mission being like, hey, "This is very uneventful so far." <laughs> it died. Ah, uh, I want to play again. That was actually going by pretty fast too. Okay, fine. I'll play it one more time. Just one more time. Uh, which one of these should we do? Let's do... Let's do the one with more events. These games sure go fast. I wonder if that's by design. Hog. Hmm. Legendary decoration. That's not that bad. Ooh. <laughs> Historically vibrant. We got five here. And we could purchase our new babies. Our new victims. Yeah. Purchase this uh, druid here to empower our druid really quick. 
I've never used a paladin before. Swords and heals, regenerating out of combat, preventing intense damage. Berserker is really fun too. After taking 15 damage, becomes immortal, gains 200% haste, and leaves the party to whack Nanas for a while. Yeah, I love using Berserkers, actually. They're just fun. I like Berserkers in general in games like this. I also feel like I should be using a more damage-focused build anyway. Berserker, Paladin, Cleric, and Healer Druid. Three Healers and a Zerker. That sounds like a... That sounds like a D&D podcast, honestly. We'll basically... We'll call this party... The Murder Hobos. Full prize gotten. We're not getting as many drops this time, are we? Oh, Pog. Finally, I can hire a Viking and a cleric. All right, all right. This is good. This is it. We got the Metastrat. We got the tank. We got two DPSs and a cleric. We have only one ranged unit, and he's the cleric. This is going to be wild. I can feel it. Jesus Christ, we are slow as fuck, though. Rage mode. Based. Okay. We got eight. And we all got a whole bunch of... Bunch here. Another golem hand. Going to sell this one as well so we can... Level up the druid to level 2. You use this for more armor since he has a tendency to get himself in trouble. Onwards. Non-combat interaction. You find an uproar around a small square. It looks like the bard pissed off the people at the tavern with his off-key notes. He's tied in a pillory while an angry crowd throws round fruits at him. What do you do? Try and intercept the fruits. Stealthily throw the loot into the bard's hands. Make your way through the crowd and release the bard. Let's try and intercept the fruits. You start to deflect the fruits as best you can, then they start throwing rotten fruit at you. You keep deflecting masterfully after seeing that they can't continue the show. The crowd starts to disperse. Good job, Pog. He's currently level 2. And we can actually max him out now with this. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh no, he's done already? Okay. So we'll toss that there. 
There's another Yeti there. Or there's another, uh, I keep calling this a Yeti even though it's a Viking. <laughs> Habits, I guess. Choices, 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 chat. Okay, so now the healer should hopefully heal a little bit faster. Oh, after a four second delay, resurrects a fallen alley? I didn't know they could do that. Actually. Oh, man. Well, good game, ch our chat. I don't know how long we're going to last this time. I guess I shouldn't be so pessimistic. We have a fairly balanced party here. And we got, like, a couple people who are really level 3. Berserk mode. Uh, they're about to kill my cleric. Give us your presence, Chris Kringle. Why isn't the druid going to turtle mode? There we go. Thank you. Took you a while though. Damn. Golden Harpy's Banner. Oh, that's kind of Paul. That's kind of nice actually. I really need to upgrade my cleric as well. Cool. Give them that. Uh, give the harpy banner to you. Sh extra rusher. Cold and tough. Level 2. My druid needs to be leveled up as well, I think. <laughs> Another non combat interaction. Thieves sprawl from the shadows and earlier announces put the money in the bag. What do you do? Crush the thief in a bear hug. <laughs> Your spontaneous show of intimacy when faced by aggression resonates as a brilliant response to the hedgehog's dilemma presented. Sometimes you have to throw yourself into another spikes for them to understand the pain they cause and how that is okay. This game. I love it. That's actually kind of, that's actually kind of brilliant. On Frenzy. So this thing on Frenzy plus... 20% health party. Huh. That's cool. How much money we got? Ok, 
Can we afford... There's no decent... There aren't any decent items right now. Heaven, Hasty. And I need to max out my Druid here. Sorry to say. Looks like our synergies aren't as good this time, unfortunately. They do be trouble. Ooh, treasure. A heart of Ent. Nice. And some money. Now we're just going to stack the shit out of the heals, aren't we? Oh my god, he heals a lot now. I think cold is almost done. I think this guy is almost leveled up, actually. Pog. The Berserker is maxed out, which is kind of cool. On hit, apply a 25% slow and reduce one armor for two seconds. On hit, causes slow. Or? Every 12 seconds, stun the shit out of people. I actually don't know. I guess the stone was pretty good last time. Oh, we're being... We're being uh, kind of mod or mobbed to death here. Man, you aren't kidding. Blocking is not very good. Probably it's one of those things that's good in theory, but not in practice. Where do you think you're going, Chris Kringle? Man, yeah, it's two in the morning. Woodland, Rusher, Heavenly, Hasty.
300% heal is stupid. It's just fucking stupid. <laughs> In a good way. I'm conflicted about my choices, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, huh? Uh, I really need a third one. Where am I gonna find it? Hope we're able to do okay this next round. After a long walk, you come to a colossal tree so big that uh, clouds pass under the branches. You hear a noise and looking up, you see his seeds falling towards the party. What do you do? You firmly plant your feet on the ground, put your weapon over your head, and wait for impact. A seed falls like a meteor, passes away your weapon and creates a crater right in front of you with impact everyone is thrown away pog sadly i can't make use of tough in this instance but i might be able to use something else burning play is crazy or at least it was crazy last time The things I do. Alright, two. What am I going to do with you? I'll check this out next time. If there is a next time, of course. Because this is gonna be this is getting fairly difficult.
It appears that winter is coming after all. Oh man, this is a dangerous situation. But we were able to get out of it through sheer force of healing alone, it seems. Pog. We do need to heal though. There we go. It's a good thing we waited when we did. Because it looks like we might actually have enough now to complete everything, maybe? At least get the burning plate. Free roll. Banana split. Heavenly and hasty. 75 more hours? Until what? Do you tell? A cleric? Oh my god. When reduced to zero hell or zero, we heal self to a hundred percent. Clutch healing, that's kind of insane. Seventy five more hours until what, Floofy? You don't want me streaming out long? I can't afford to stream out long anyway. I do have work um, in like six hours or so. So unfortunately I must get go. I will have to get going eventually. Like after this run, I'm sure. Would probably be a good time, right? then superior healing unfortunately I don't have any items for the Viking but I will have some tomorrow I'm sure Let's go to sleep. I was kidding, I don't want to... You are a Blast Hicks. <laughs> I'm glad that you think so. Thank you and thank you for coming to tonight's stream. I really appreciate it. Uh, Corda Leaf for 15 health or Golden Harpy's Banner for, 50, for uh, more 
upgrade more. I guess we could use more. The, this comes in as a clutch so they don't die. I guess we'll hold on to these for now. Challenge overhealing. Unlocks Necronomicron. I wonder why I have overheat. Oh, because the it makes people he it heals fat people faster than they would otherwise, because they have two hundred percent, two hundred percent freaking haste. That's insane. That's actually that's actually kind of insane. <laughs> And by kind, I mean extremely. Lozy best. Aw, thank you. Here we go, chat. Let's win it. Let's win this. This time, we don't have a gl overly glassy cannoned wizard who's just going to die on the first hit. And my cleric just heals. It's a healing machine at this point in the game. An absolute machine. Oh yeah. Berserk mode. Yeah, this build is just crazy. This this build's fucking insane. <laughs> You got three DPS, one of whom is a tank, and one dedicated heals who's fucking supersonic speed. I got a debuff DPS, a berserk DPS, and a tank DPS, and one dedicated hyper fast healer. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! What is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? What is that thing? <laughs> no, seriously, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> Berserk mode. Kova Kya, the oppressive dean? Up, oh, the bird ran away. Uh oh. I didn't realize you were playing Toho now. Ow, ow, ow. Honestly, what is going on? Oh, man. Definitely doing a lot better than we were in the last game, that's for sure. I was kind of like, you know, I, I don't know how good we're doing. But I think we got this in a bag. Maybe. Emphasis, maybe. Hog. Awesome. We have once again won. I couldn't have done it without y'all, chap. <laughs> Alright. Now, it is fairly late. I actually do have to get going. <laughs> But before we get going, let's go ahead and grab us someone to raid tonight. 
If y'all have any suggestions, I'm all ears. Otherwise, I will look at well, check out one of my friends. Oh my god, so pro. I may be pro now, but I wasn't always pro. I had a good mentor. <laughs> Who we got going on tonight here? Kaz is streaming tonight. Yuzi Pan. Lily Hops. Iron Chew. Uh huh. Chromato Sage is also. Streaming as well. Bacon Elemental. Massa Samari. I haven't seen Samari in a while. They're playing Sekiro. Did they just start tonight or? So many choices. Forte is playing Project Wingman. I missed that was one of the earlier games that I streamed a while back. Good stuff. Or I could send y'all to someone comfy like Chibi Sensei. Actually, I don't think we've ever raided Master Samari before, and part of the reason for that is he. I don't know what time zone he's in, but something a time zone vastly different from my own because I never see him online. But he's also one of the first people that became mutuals with my first start VTubing. I have decided. Alright chat. I'll try to have a stream this Wednesday evening. I'm not sure what I'm going to be streaming yet. It might be Resident Evil 4 since that's what one of my mods deal suggested. But we'll think about it. Thank you once again to everyone who showed up tonight. Thank you for, um, you know, our, well... Thank you for showing up tonight. Thank you to all our new viewers and followers and for the bits. I will talk to you again soon, and I hope you all have a great evening. Stick around for the raid. We're going to be using a very, we're going to use a relatively simple raid message tonight. No, the usual stuff. Ta-da! <laughs> oh shit. Y'all did not see that. But, 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 but what? But what? What, what in the butt, butt? <laughs> Our time together is short, but we'll have many other times together in the future. Oh, shit. Uh, Good point. Um, let me get you some emotes that you can use. Go ahead and use... Um, actually, I don't know which one of these is the normal emotes. Shoot. How does this work again? Um, what are the normal emotes again? We still have time. Ah. Try using this one then. The metal. Alright. Bye bye now. See y'all soon. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, the smell of the Just King. Oh, I've never heard.